now I'm going to talk about uh, this spy hook camera uh, this camera is remote controlled it is remote controlled and uh, this is the remote control devices and I'll explain what the various buttons uh, uh, indicates uh, looking at the remote control spy hood camera you can see uh, five basic features here we have the camera eye the remote sensor here is the manually operated knob here is the the long hook and this is the short hook these two hooks are used as a as a, a device to camouflage this uh, remote controlled uh, uh, spy hook camera that's why it's called spy hook because it has hooks here so that once you have once you hang your clothes here uh, it will distract people from actually knowing that um, it is a spy camera you know yeah so this is the the front side of this uh, spy hook uh, camera now let's look at the back of this camera here here you have this knob this knob here is to on it and off it you see now it is in an off position here and if you press it down this way it is in an on position this is the a USB cord socket this one you connect the socket uh, one end of the USB cord then the other end you connect it to your computer you know and here is the provision where you put in your uh, SD card or the TF card because the SD, SD card is where the the videos that have been recorded or the pictures that have been taken by the eye camera are stored you know so they are stored in the SD card and this is the provision we have for the SD card you know uh, this camera is very useful because it can record for two hours which is 120 minutes but it records at an interval of 10 10 minutes and uh, there are several ways you can use this device uh, when this device is in what you call a standby mode you can take pictures with it or you can take video with it especially if you are not using it as a spy camera and if you are in an open space probably you want to take video or picture of your kid playing uh, outside you can use it you know and uh, if you want to use it as a spy camera it's a different ball game entirely and uh, this is how you can use it as a spy camera now you can see the remote control device and the camera itself okay this is the remote control this is the power button and this is the motion detector knob used in putting this camera in a, what you call motion detection mode and this is for standby mode this one is using taking video camera and this is using taking pictures but basically you don't need this and this if you are if you're using this device as a spy camera uh, now for you to be able to use this remote control as a spy camera for this one incorporating this camera this is the this is the thing you have to do understand that first when you on this uh, device by pressing this very red knob here this power button here this camera goes into a standby mode and once in the standby mode 
Once you press this button, it then goes into what we call motion detection mode. If it is in a motion detection mode, what it does is that if you hang this camera on your wall and you go to work and somebody enters your room, this camera will be triggered off by the by the motion or maybe in case you go out and somebody comes into your room and he moves this camera eye here will detect the motion and the motion will trigger this device to start recording you know but for you to put it in that you have to use this device through this remote sensor to trigger this device to be in a state of motion detection mode standby mode this is camera and this is taking pictures but as i said one of the basic functions and important functions for this device is using it in a motion detector mode so that whenever you are not there any motion that occurs in your room it will trigger this device to be able to record once it records the recording is stored here in the sd card that is placed inside here and once the motion goes off the recording automatically stops uh, but before you actually use it see what is going to i'm going to press this button now and this camera is going to flicker and once it flickers it now goes into what i may call standby mode and then by pressing this it goes into the motion detection mode so look at how it's going to flicker once i press this you see it is flicking right there you know you see this is you see it's not blinking this blinking tells you that it is in a standby mode so if you want it to take video in a motion detection mode you then press this one that's it the camera is now in a motion detection mode and you cannot be able to take um, um, video of any motion that it detects in your room basically this is what it is used for you know the motion detection mode is the most important thing you can use this for where you can take pictures and videos outdoors but for you to use this device as a spy material you have to own it with this and then put it in a motion detection mode and just go to work so if anybody enters your room or somebody breaks your door and enters your room the motion will will be viewed by this camera eye here and once the motion is detected it will trigger this camera eye to start recording the video of the person in your room and then once it is recorded it is then stored here because you're gonna put a SD card here now once you come back from work what you do is you put your USB cord here you know this comes along with a USB cord once you put the USB cord here you connect the other end to your laptop you know and um, this is how the USB cord looks like you know it's not the normal one you know it has a different shape altogether you know this is how the USB uh, cord looks like this is the smaller end so this is the one you put inside this very socket here and then you use the other end which is this end is the one you're going to put inside your inside your laptop you know uh, this uh, spy camera or spy hook camera as I may call it which is remotely controlled is very cheap and easily affordable and not difficult to operate if only you are using the remote control so it is a good idea to have one installed in your room or in your bedroom and then one in your office 
well if you can also use this remote control device also to to uh, spy on a cheating spouse i mean if you have a spouse that you don't believe in and maybe you go to work and your spouse uh, brings in um, somebody else into the room you can also use this device to be able to uh, spy on uh, who comes in and who goes out but the problem this device have is it can only record for only two hours but it can also record for quite a period of time because uh, it only records when it detects emotion and each recording is 10 10 minutes so you can record 12 different videos at an intervals of 10 10 minutes so it's a very it's a nice device that which uh, any family needs you know it's very useful to protect yourself you know because we live in a world where uh, we don't trust people you know so please uh, give me a thumbs up and um, subscribe to this my video thank you and bye bye